today we are going to have the subject called strength of materials strength of materials right so which has a weightage of around 4 to 8 marks in gate examination right so out of 8 you may expect a one mark questions around 3 to 4 and again a two marks question about 2 to 3 right uh, in addition to this uh, has a weightage of around 4 to 8 marks in gate examination it also has an, a good amount of weightage in IES as well as any other state in uh, what you call about the selection committees is around the weightage go may to 4 to 6 marks right and nowadays we are having the multiple choice questions as well as what you call as the numericals that is fill in the blanks and in gate examination you may expect uh, expect an MCQ questions of around 4 and for gate examination right and numericals is around another 4 marks this is for gate examination is concerned right so let's see about What the subject of strength of materials is basically deals with. So SOM is deals SOM deals with what deals with forces and their effects on solids when the solid is in static equilibrium right guys so what do you mean by a static equilibrium anyone expect the answer for it yes static equilibrium means Whenever a force acts on a solid, let's say the solid is something like this, and we are applying a pull on right side. But do you say that it is under the equilibrium? May not be. The reason is it, due to the application of this pull this object may tries to move to the right s yes? but that is now called as a dynamics case but strength of material does not speaks about the dynamics in order to know the effect of this force first make sure that the body must be under the static equilibrium but how to ensure that Yes, definitely it should have a force of equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. That makes your body is under equilibrium. That means if you are having 10 kilonewtons of force to the right side, there must be a force of equal magnitude in the opposite direction that keeps the body is under static equilibrium continue hello guys now we understood about what do you mean by a static equilibrium 